Hey, I know I said that it would be a little a bit, be a little while before I went into the second dungeon, but um, I took some vitalities. My stats are up, so I'm gonna give the second dungeon a try and record it. Um, but yeah, you get to the second dungeon by exploring the deep woods, and it's a random encounter. And um, you get the deep woods by exploring the forest. It's also a random encounter, but yes, deep cave. The entrance to this cave is far bigger than the cave itself. It looks to be a totally natural formation. Outside, to the south, is a veritable jungle of plant life. There are massive trees, vines, and ferns everywhere. The cave grows narrower and narrower, narrower, the further north you go, until it's little more than a claustrophobic tunnel burying deep into the earth. North. The cave tunnel slants downward to the north and upwards to the south. You can see this. Um, you can see sunlight and feel fresh a fresh breeze from the latter direction, though the walls and air around you are damp with moisture. You realize that the floor of this cave is fairly smooth and even, as if some attempt had been made to level it out. You can see a bricked wall along the north end of the tunnel. It has a crudely fashioned wooden door in the center of it. I, I still don't get the north-south thing. I, I don't think you always enter from the south. Or that geography even really matters in the demon realm. Why can't it just be back and forward? But yes, um, here comes the battle, the gathering hall. This room is clearly some kind of dining or gathering hall. The, cha the chamber shape has been hewn from the surrounding stone. And judging by the visible tool marks, it wasn't done with a great deal of care. The two wooden tables fill out the room. They're surprisingly well made, though it appears that part of their legs were hacked off with axes to lower their overall height. You can't help but wonder where they were stolen from. The tables haven't been cleaned in ages, as evidenced by their many stains and the number of half-rotten bones that still rest on the battered surfaces. Two rows of crudely crafted chairs flank their <clears throat> better-made brethren made to accommodate very short beings. The place is swar um, swarming with two dozen imps. None of them look happy to see you. A number of them take flight while the rest of them form a ring around you, trapping you. It looks like you'll have to fight your way out, okay? You're fighting the imp horde. Imps of all shapes and sizes fill the room around you, keeping you completely surrounded by their myriad forms. You can see more than a few sporting disproportionate erections, and there's even some with exotic dog dicks, horse pricks, Ow. and odd spiny cat cock. <laughs> Escape is impossible. You'll have to fight or seduce your way out of this one. Yeah, I'm gonna fight. You hit the import. Um, oh yeah, I unlocked the double attack. If you have a high enough speed, you have the perks evade and runner. Then eventually you can unlock um, double attack. Um, the imps come in you in a wave, tearing at you with claws. You definitely avoid the imps' horde slow punches. One bites your ankle. One of the little bastards manages to scratch up your legs. Another imp pushes you in the gut hard. You um, one of the tiny demons latches onto one of your legs and starts humping it. You shake the little bastard off and keep fighting. Well then. That's hot. <laughs> Three imps on the far side of the room close their eyes and begin murmuring words of darkness and power. Your eyes widen, recognizing the spell. Anything but that. They're building up a massive arousal spell. They keep muttering and gesturing, and you realize you've got one round to stop them. Well then, <laughs> the imps in the back finish their spell casting and point at you in unison. A wave of pure arousal hits you with the force of a freight chain, train. Your equipment rubs across your suddenly violently sensitive nipple. The lower portions of your coverings become stained with feminine moisture. One of the tiny demons latches onto one of your legs and starts humping it. Yeah, you shake the little bastard off and keep fighting. Okay, I already read that. The imps at you, um, tearing you with claws. Yeah, I avoid them. That's good. Um, yeah, same old, same old. Do I have this? 
I actually lost. This is not good. Um, <laughs> because in a dungeon, that's game over. Usually you just rape and re you get raped and you recover, but... Unable to ha handle your myriad wounds, you collapse with your strength exhausted. In seconds, the squirming red bodies swarm over you, blotting the rest of the room with, um, from your vision. You can feel their scrabbling fingers and hands tearing off your red high society bodysuit, exposing your body to their hungry eyes. Their loincloths disappear as their growing demonic members make themselves known, pushing the tiny flaps of fabric out of the way <clears throat> or outright tearing through them. You're groped, touched, and licked all over, drowning in a sea of long tongues and small nude bodies. You're, grabbing, you're grabbed by the chin, and your jaw is pried open to make room for a, small in, a swollen dog dick. It's shoved in without any warm-up or fanfare, you're, and you're forced to taste his pre in the back of your throat. You don't dare bite down or resist in such a compromised position, and you're forced to try and suppress your gag reflex and keep your teeth back as he pushes the rest of the way in, burring his knot behind your lips. A sudden weight drops onto your chest as one of the demons straddles your belly, allowing his thick, taint fuck stick to plop down between your love pillows. The hot fluid leaking, leaking from his nodule ringed crown swiftly lubricates your cleavage. In, the second, in seconds, the little devil is squeezing your breast around himself as he starts pounding his member into your tits. The purplish tip peeks out between your jiggling flesh mounds, dripping with tainted moisture. Most of the crowd centers itself around your lower body, taking a good long look at your pussy and asshole. Two in intrepid imps step forward and push their members into the unplugged orifices. You're stretched wide by the massive, unexpected, unexpectedly forceful intrusions. The tiny corrupted nodules stroke every inch of your interiors, eliciting uncontrollable spasms from your inner walls. The unintentional dick massage gives your rapist knowing smiles, and they go to town on your ass, slapping it repeatedly as they double penetrate you. As, as one, the crowd of demon or, demons orgasms. Hot spunk gushes into your ass, filling you with uncomfortable uh, pressure. A thick load blasts your pussy with whiteness, and you can feel it seeping deeper inside your fertile womb. Your mouth is filled with a wave of thick cream. Plugged as you are by the demon's knot, you're forced to guzzle down the stuff, lest you choke on his tainted baby batter. <laughs> more and more hits um, your chin as the dick sandwiched between your tits on loads, leaving the whitish juice to dribble down your neck. Finally, your own orgasm arrives, and you clench tightly around the uncomfortable intrusion. Your cunt clenches around the invading cock as orgasm takes you, massaging the, the, demonic, the demonic tool with instinctual desire to breed. Somehow, you get him off again and take another squirt of seed into your waiting cunt. Powerless in throes of post-coital bliss, you don't object as you're lifted on the table. You pass out just as round two is getting started, but the demons don't seem to mind.